So please be ready for uh, the next uh, uh, round. But before we do this, we go for the next three minutes to, to Dr. Sarat Chan, and he is from Cambodia. He's the Under Secretary of State um, in the Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries. Dr. Chan, please take the floor. Thank you, uh, Madam. So, uh, dear uh, panelists, ladies and gentlemen, today is my great pleasure to attend the CSS 50 special event Food System Transformation, Building Long Term Resilience to Global Crisis. I also would like to appreciate the 50-year anniversary of the CFS as well. Uh, conservation agriculture and sustainable intensification and agroecology approach are providing benefit to by reducing soil erosion and increasing soil fertility. Responding to the current challenges caused by rising oil and fertilizer price, Conservation and sustainable integration and agroecology activity has been implemented in Cambodia since 2004. However, this activity has not scaled up widely due to the lack of the participation from the private sector and other stakeholders in the field of conserv conserv conservation agriculture. To turn CANSI into commercial venture, there is a need for all market actors, including farmer, seed crop provider, agricultural cooperative, tractor owner, middleman, manufacturing workshop, training institution, financial institution, retailer, and input supplier, etc. to come together. Therefore, it is a need to establish the Cambodia Conservation Agriculture and Sustainable Intensification Consortium classic in order to work together on addressing this issue and make CNSI more accessible to farmers through the market actor offering the services. CASIC was established by the Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry and Fishery in May 2020. Cambodia joined the coalition for the transformation of food systems through agroecology in 2022, expecting to both gain support through learning from experiences in other country in other country and contribute to share experience of realizing food system transformation in Cambodia. Next slide, please. Next slide, please. Yeah. The structure, yes, okay. Please back a little bit back on the second slide, yes. The structure of CASIC consists of steering committee, executive board, and four subcommittee. The CASIC steering committee work with six line ministry, one council of agriculture and rural development, one representative of private sector, which is a chamber of commerce in Cambodia. CASIC executive board work with seven line technical department, Two agri uh, one agriculture university, research institution, nine provincial agricultural department, and three partners from CIRA, Sri Contact, and Center of Excellence on Sustainable Agriculture and Intensification and Nutrition. Next slide, please. Please click one by one. Yeah. First, on the, uh, the classic. We also introduce the systematic approach that consists of four dimensions such as one research. Please click. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Research. Uh, it is a center of excellence. It is a five-year strategic plan developed to be the aspiration for the regional center of excellence on CA and SI and agroecology. Second, the skill human resources. It is the internship guider model established 
it is it has been initiating and introducing introducing into the curriculum third the extension we call the mercasico it is the farmer friend it is a public private model piloting is underway and mainstreaming in the government system for the technology technology and practices cover crop and machinery it is a service provider from the service uh, sector to provide service on cover crop and machinery now this systematic approach is piloting which various stakeholder a three years pilot on setting up certification and verification system including carbon credit take into this opportunity i would like to congr uh, congratulate and fully support the fao for organizing the cfs50 special event food system transformation and i would also like to express my pleasure to work with the agroecology coalition for the benefit of our agricultural producer as well as contribute to poverty reduction by your diversity loss water scarcity food safety and nutrition thank you for your attention Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Chon, for your presentation. Um, I was very happy to uh, hear for also from Cambodia, because Cambodia is one of the several countries who was uh, able to make global commitments in the field of climate, the uh, national determined contributions, but also during the food systems and during the nutrition uh, summit, Nutrition for Growth, last year. And if you look at, at all these plans, there is a clear overlap um, uh, coming together in the improvement of food systems. And I think this is a brilliant example, and there are a few more countries that have this, uh, um, this example um, to, um, to bring things together from a country perspective so that with one investment, you can serve at least three, if not five or ten sustainable uh, development goals.